Hey everybody, welcome to this guide on how to redeem your free 20 games on the PlayStation 5. Simple rules, you need PlayStation Plus and you need a PlayStation 5 console and you should be able to do this on a friend's console as well as long as you log on it and you have PlayStation uh, Plus. Uh, I will talk more about PlayStation Plus if you're a new player to the PlayStation 4, 5, etc. Uh, I'll tell you a bit more information after. You might learn something here. Uh, but basically, for everyone else, you're going to go to the PlayStation uh, button up here. So you can see PlayStation Plus, it's always labeled as the gold icon. So if you have an issue or something's not working, basically you click that, boom, you're in there. So what we're looking at is the PlayStation Collection here. So you got the button there, or if you go down here further, you can see it here. So the PlayStation Plus Collection, Generation Defining PS4 Games. You click here, and you can go through this, and you can subscribe to them all. So basically, normally there would be a button here to subscribe, but because I've already grabbed them all, they have shown up as purchased. And that's how they work. They, they basically are like, you own it now. Uh, you might require, uh, I believe you still require owning the uh, PlayStation Plus. So let's just say I take six months off and I don't pay and then I come back and pay it again. Then they would show up. You'd be able to get them still. So you don't lose access to them. You just lose access to them temporary. And uh, yeah, so we have Crash uh, Bandicoot. Uh, God of War, Fallout 4, Mortal Kombat, you got uh, Monster Hunter World, you got Final Fantasy 15 Royal Edition, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, uh, Persona 5, Battlefield 1, Last Guardian, you got Batman Arkham Knight, uh, you have Uncharted 4, Thief's End, Detroit Become Human, uh, Days Gone, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, uh, Famous Second Son, Until Dawn, Bloodborne, The Last of Us, uh, remastered version and racket racket and clank so basically you click each one of those you go and subscribe to each one of them and uh, i believe you actually add library that's the term they use and you're good to go now for you guys who might be new to playstation plus basically this is a feature sort of like an xbox uh, it might be cheaper actually uh every month you pay a little bit and uh you get to play online games things like that they also give you usually two or three free games each month as well so, for example, this month, I get um, Middle Earth Shadow of War. I also get Hollow Knight Void Heart Edition. And I also get Bug Snacks. Bug Snacks? I can't say that. And uh, basically, I did the same thing. So, I went to each one of these and added them to my library. They're already added. And if you don't add it to my library, so let's just say, you know, it's November and then, you know, you didn't add anything and then December comes by, you do lose access to being able to add them. So you have to add them in that month. Uh, so set, you know, something on your calendar to remind you for that. And uh, if you are new to it, it's actually really cheap. It's $69.99 for 12 months. That is only $5.84 a month, which is pennies and this is the canadian version so i'm assuming if you're american or everything you know that might look expensive it's probably a lot cheaper than that and uh funny thing is even uh sites like key cd keys and stuff like that I, i'm not gonna promote or tell you to use sites like that but if you trust them and you know feel comfortable using them uh they can be a lot cheaper for example i have my playstation account uh to uh, playstation plus till 2026 January 1st and uh, I was paying about $40 or so per 12 months of that so that's pretty incredible when you think about that only uh, only uh, you know a lot cheaper than that obviously was like four bucks something like that I uh, know I'd be even cheaper wouldn't it yeah that would be cheaper I think anyways um, either way when you get them through PlayStation or you buy them online the cards whatever on sale it's a good deal no matter what and uh, obviously getting games each month is great like if you think one of these games were worth paying you know the five dollars a month plus you know being able to play online with your friends and all of the games and everything else then you already win and that's obviously why i do it um i didn't play my playstation 4 a lot and i literally just went in and uh, kept adding you know games each month and in fact you can do it through the uh, browser on your computer phone etc it's just the this collection the special collection here you can only do that on the PS5 itself and uh, usually these monthly games you can do directly on the website. That being said, if they start adding PS5 games to the monthly collection, 
they might for a time limited only make it so you have to log into a ps5 i'm not saying they're going to do that i'm just saying that is potentially possible so keep that in mind anyways i hope you found this video useful if you have any questions or issues or anything like that let me know i'll try my best to help you thank you so much for watching please subscribe comment like and we'll see wonderful people next time a wonderful day goodbye